Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. I want to give all praise to Yahawa Bashem, Yahawa Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles in Great Millstone. And Barakathon to you, brothers, decided teaching this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? And uh, I'm going to title this lesson. This truth isn't forever, okay? This truth isn't forever, okay? And uh, this this gospel will not be on YouTube forever, man, because they, they starting to crack down on brothers' uh, YouTube channels, you know? Brothers making two, three backup channels, you know? But it's only a matter of time before, you know, you won't even be able to upload any content at all, you know, without being, uh, without it being, uh, something, you know, Esau wants, you know, cause he, uh, these elite banking families are going to, cause you know, they're trying to get that one world order, you know, that new world order. Okay. And they only want one narrative. And that narrative is their narrative, you know, is what they want. They want you to know. And they're going to stop this truth from going out, you know. So get it, get it, get it while you can. Get this truth while you can, man. Repent, okay. Repent to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. And I'm going to go get these scriptures. This is Amos chapter 8. Verse 11, behold, the days come, <clears throat> so like you. behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Okay. So you're not going to, when they, when Esau comes down, when he cracks down on YouTube, and then nine times out of ten, when he cracks down on YouTube, he's going to crack down on all these other sites as well, you know, because you're not going to be able to find you're not going to be able to find the prophets preaching the word anymore. And they damn so ain't going to be out there on the streets anymore. You know. And they shall wander. This is uh, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it, man. Because it's going to be too late by then. Get this word now while you can, you know. Repent now, you know. Come to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. And ultimately, if you can't get it, then you've been blinded, man. It's not for you. The two thirds, you know, the two thirds are gonna die here in in America, in Babylon the Great, you know, and then come back on the other side. That's when they're gonna inherit the kingdom. <coughs> so lucky, okay. <clears throat> and I want to go get a. Uh, this is Malachi. Chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And that's that nuclear hell fire. When America, Babylon the Great, you know, gets involved in this World War Three, And all these other countries. All these other countries that's able to shoot nuclear missiles will shoot nuclear missiles, man. Mainly here at this place called America, Babylon the Great. You know, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, you know. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, and it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Because everything is going to be destroyed, man, and that'll be judgment. For you wicked two-thirds, for Esau, 
you know, and for all the people that wrong Israel, man, all you other heathens as well. That's over here in this country. Okay. And I want to go get Second Peter. Uh, Second Peter chapter. This is Second Peter chapter three and verse ten. Okay, but the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. And it's going to come as a thief into the night to you people, as I just said, that don't know what's going on out here, man. That don't know that, you know, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is coming to get judgment for their people, man. For his people, man. Which is the children of Israel, the rightful children of Israel. You know, you so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Indians. You so-called uh, Mexicans, Latinos. All of you are the rightful children of Israel. Okay? And the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, is coming to get his revenge for us, for what they did to us. Because we're still in captivity. We're still in slavery right now. We're still not free. This isn't freedom. And I'm going to take this verse from the top. But the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Earth also and the works that they're in shall be burned up. Okay. So when those nukes hit this place, America, everything is going to be destroyed. Everything is going to be burned up. This place is, will be turned into a barren wasteland. Okay. And this is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start at verse, verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Because the elect know what's coming, man. To a regular, a, a, a regular two third, you know, or a regular Edomite can can take can look in the world and see that you know this shit ain't the same as before. Something's about some big about to happen, man. Something big about to happen, man. Something's about to change probably this year. You know, all hell's getting ready to break loose. So get this truth while you can, brothers. Repent. Come to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, you know. And that's pretty much it. All I want to go into on this lesson. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, or Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. And Shalom to the hopefully elect. I hope you're edified.